Greetings, fellow outsiders, and welcome to a game called Milk Inside of a Bag of 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 Milk This seems like a very interesting game. It's gotten overwhelmingly positive reviews on the game page, so I'm kind of excited to check it out. I hope you guys are too. So let's go ahead and help whoever this is buy some milk. I walked down the road to the store and rehearsed my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to or shut up and go already? Um, who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? What game or say nothing? Is this um meta acknowledging us as the player? What game? Well, you know, there are games where you can see characters' thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought if someone is reading my mind, I need to be very focused so that I don't blurt out too much. <laughs> I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I... Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again, hello. Can I get... Wow! That's a whole word more! <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying my best. I think this time the I sound was a little longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello. Can I... Ugh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Oh, we're not being mean. Haha, <laughs> loser, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. How much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. Hee hee hee. How did you... How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on, or you're so stupid. We're not going to be flat out mean. I I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh, here we go again. So, step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute. What do you mean step one? Oh, step one, like an extra step. What then? But it's already the 52nd. Or wait, I'm going backwards, so then it's the 50th? It doesn't add up. Okay, okay, step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat, repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you will be very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yeah! Woo! I carefully move my foot backwards, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I... I can't exactly make out this person. Oh. Excuse me? What? Oh. Excuse me? What? Oh. Excuse me? What? Oh. Is the text getting a little bit bigger? Is this changing at all? Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. You shouldn't have done that? What did I do? He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. 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 What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you, explaining it won't be enough, but keep in mind that it'll come- <gasps> Stop! Stop, 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 stop! Okay, you didn't have to, you, you, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Something like that. Didn't 
have to share the frightening image with me. So, I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh! My interlocutor shook and crawled away. You just repeated after him. And it worked! Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear that. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. This is weird. I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack, there are bags of milk. We both stand and the milk lies? Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember where you, why you're here? To buy milk. So, buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like, not here? Not here, take the bag and go to the cash register or you're getting on my nerves. Not here. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk, or rather the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Come on. Come on. 15 minutes before the store closes. Hurry up. I remember what these games are called. Visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there are authors. But there, the authors are not lazy. So don't get lazy either. Wait, I thought your thoughts were only visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. <laughs> Um, anyway, you heard me. Hurry up and you'll get home, or you'll get it at home again. I'm on my way. This is, like, a weird mixture of things. Also, I have no idea what I'm looking at on the screen to decipher the pixels. Hello? Can, can I get, get some milk, please? Hi. You have it. Ah! Give. I put a weighty bag on the register, of course. Not just the bag, but the milk, too. Hi, can I... Uh, can I have it, please? No. Please? No. But please, Mom will throw me out of the, of the window if I get back without milk. No. Is it the O thing again? But... Why not? Give more. But I... I don't have anything else. Hey! What? They hate you? You are pathetic or pay for the milk. We're not go- Don't be mean. Pay for the milk. Haha, <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He stares- He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it into the cash register. Thank you. Goodbye. I walk down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me that of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I am carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. I just love their pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. But I'm really interested, or you're just a weird... But I'm really interested. Well, look, the ratio of water to milk by the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best, unless you want to drink more than to eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple bath. I see. I feel movement under my feet, asphalt grains, petrol stains. 
I'm trying to keep my balance, and how do people move over something that as uneven as a city plane? Gently heel toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path that I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out. Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step on the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here. I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. Oh, really? Although if you think about it, there are bears with eyes on the back of their heads. You could have died. Come on, are you saying that someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? You're sick or the world is a cruel and dangerous place? Oh. You're sick. Haha. <laughs> you just had to say it, didn't you? My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I am in a hurry, all the traffic lights are tur uh, turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? That's not what the manual said at all. Apparently these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it? Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful for you, but please, no more. You have to accept the truth. Are we, like with these choices we're making, the voice in this character's head? No. You have to accept the truth. No. No. Accept the truth. No. <gasps> Looks like Alien doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Write down my name. Again? I hope we can do it this time. What? Okay, I'm doing another run and this time I'm gonna be as nice as possible, pick the best options and see if it actually helps our character. Okay, so this is the one that I think I need to do differently. I need to say the world is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Okay, and then we're here. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I am in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? I think what I'm gonna do with this option is not say anything. You know what? What? Since I am a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. They're self-aware? If you say so, or if you could hurt, it could hurt your recovery. Hmm. If you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for a cliched visual novel monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. Hmm. What is this? Listen. I'm a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do we? Do we not have to name it, but just say yes or no? Please capitalize it. You're ruining the narrative. 
Really? Okay. <laughs> it must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnoses. Okay, yeah. Uh, let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am, even though I made you up. Don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. Haha. <laughs> What is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since <clears throat> something happened, all I see is red, red blood everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what the other colors look like. Come on. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Yes. Should I say yes? I'm gonna try yes. Really? Promise? Really? Oh no, I'm in a loop. Maybe? I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? I won't waste time. What do you see? What do I see? Do I see anything? Pixels? Anyway. What? This is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. What? We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I n never would have thought. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out of the window and died. It's my last memory, then a long gap. Strange, very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however, I think it's more your merit. I keep thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader, or, oh, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going into the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Well, you know, day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. There's so much I want to tell you. <laughs> what? I don't want to say this. Don't make me say this. That was very rude of you. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you, I'm just advising you to go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? No, 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 no! Don't do this! When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. Repeating this action every day like a ritual, I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medications finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head. Mixing with the sounds of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Oh my god, you scared me! Did you bring the milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. 
Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yes, Mom. What? All right, well, that was a bag of milk inside a of a bag of milk inside of a bag of milk etc very interesting game um it's way more concerned with kind of mental health sort of conditions than i originally thought when i downloaded it i thought it would be more horror based which there are some like scary elements to it like cuz there's some jump scares and disturbing images and stuff like that but i feel like it's definitely more along the lines of like, I guess, psychological horror then in that way. Someone said something very interesting, which I think I'll leave the video off on, which is that while playing this game, you will feel uncomfortable, but remember for us, it ends when we close out the game. For us, it ends. So again, I think in terms of the discussions of this game and the comments and everything, still try and be respectful because this is dealing with real life issues. This is not a fictional horror game. Um, even if the story itself is fictional, it deals with things that people have to mentally struggle with on a daily basis. So just be aware of that and respectful when discussing this game. But... On that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.